Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we are back again with another interesting video for you guys. So in this video, we are going to uh, go through the basics of uh, progressive web apps and often called as PWA. So PWAs are basically some sort of web application that offer us with an app-like interface and app-like experience, uh, which they directly provide through the browser. And they are supposed to be very fast and reliable and the most important thing is they will work offline as well so you can basically say uh, these are the major advantages of using pwa now one is the offline support app like experience uh, maybe even some performance boosts and um, you know improved user experience so without the union you know, knowledge of much more coding with simple coding okay so let's get going then as you can see in the screen, I have this website here with me. This is a single page website, web page, and I'll be converting it into the PWA. Okay. So this is my website. And let me create a new file called manifest.json. This is the first step where I will be creating a manifest file. As you can see, this is a JSON. So the uh, content here will be in JSON format. I will name it, and this will be the name of my application. Let me name it as tech code and you can use sort name. Sort name is uh, the name of your application but in a shorter version so that it can be shown in launcher icon or wherever uh, there is a little space. In my case, this is a sort name. And next one would be start URL. You will start with the root. Another one would be display. This is the important thing and you got to use standalone here. This will basically remove the unnecessary things from your top and, and uh, footer section, right? Not from your website, but the uh, default thing that the app shows. And the next thing would be background color. Color. And I will go with white one. You can choose whatever color you want based on your logo or your brand color. Similarly, theme color. You can choose your own custom theme color. For now, I will go with black icons you can uh, provide multiple icons here uh, for now i'll be providing a single icon because i have only one icon here so let me provide src the link to the icon and it will be icon dash 192 by 192 dot png similarly sizes the size would be probably it is 192 by 192 i don't know you can check your icon and provide the proper type, uh, size. I mean, for the type, this is a PNG file, so image slash PNG. So this should be it. Uh, I have used some of the things here, but uh, make sure that you know about the other options. These are not the only options that are available that you provide in the manifest file. There are a lot of other options. You can go through all of them. But uh, for this video, uh, these things should be enough. So what I did is I created a manifest JSON and it contains some basic uh, information about my app. So I need to include it here now. So I'll create a link tag with rel equals manifest. I don't need the type and the link uh, because the index file and the manifest file are in the same directory. So I can directly use manifest.json. So I'm done with the first step, okay? So now for the second step, I will be creating a new file. I'm, I will call it as serviceworker.js, okay? And inside this file, I will have to listen to two events. So let's add event listener for the install event first. This is for the install event and i also want it for the fetch event okay let's start with the install event for this event i will be caching all the resources that i want to cache as i already said uh, our pwa will be work will also be working offline so i need to cache the things so let me do wait until wait until the caching is done okay just open the cache or create. you can say create the cache and give a name for the cache. I'm going to name it as something like this. You can use your own custom name here. Then 
cache. Okay, so what to cache? Return caches dot add all. So I'll have to I can cache a multiple number of things. Let me cache the root URL. Let me cache the index dot html. And if you have any external CSS here, I don't think I have any CSS here. I don't have. If you can have any uh, custom uh, link to a, your custom JavaScript here, you can add them here as well. Maybe something like this for the CSS for JavaScript files. Uh, just be aware that this should be a proper link to your CSS. Because I don't have any style.css or script.js, I can omit it. If you have any, just place it here. Okay, this is good. This is fine. Now let's go to the fetch event. For this event, we cast everything. And for this event, we are going to check if there is uh, the thing in the cache or not. So event dot respond with. Let's check in the caches. Caches dot match if the request. Sorry, event dot request. If the request is in the cache or not, then there will be some response. And if there is something in the uh, response, then what we will do? We will return the response. And if there is nothing in the cache, then we're gonna fetch it once again. Fetch the exact request. Yeah. Cool. So we're done with this part as well. What we did till uh, now, we created a manifest file, included it in the file, we created a service worker, and now we need to include this in our file. Well, in fact, we don't call it including the service worker. It's called registering this uh, service worker. So I'm going to register my service worker. Okay. So for registering the service worker, I need to check if the browser supports it or not. So let's say service worker in navigator if browser supports then and i will register it navigator dot service worker dot register the path will be service uh, dash worker dot js okay and in case there is any error in registering the service worker then i will be showing some uh, proper message here so i can do console.log this is the success then service worker registered something like this and if there is error i missed a dot here and if there is some error i will catch the error and console the error service worker failed with the error message something like this okay so we should be done now let's check it out so as you can see here right currently it is not pwa enabled because i have not refreshed it yet so there is no other option this is just the bookmark option so let me refresh it and you can see the change over here yeah as you can see there's a new icon here and it says install tech core i can click here and then install it right if i cancel it won't be installed so let's ins install it yeah as you can see i already had this pwa installed in my machine and now i have this one this is the icon that we included in the manifest file you can see we can the application is running this is just like a desktop application and not a website but it is actually a website and not a application but it mimics the behavior of application so this is because i'm using it from the desktop if you are using from the mobile then you will see the install app icon and you can install it and it will uh, be installed just like a normal app whether you are on android or ios this is platform independent because this is just a website so this is it so you can see this is cool right so what are you waiting now you can go and convert your own website into uh, your application pwa application that will work offline as well so you might you already know that i have provided a link in your video description below and you can find the source code there 
hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe us for more interesting and useful videos like this this much for today cheers guys